Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. This is Spiffleman Del Mardell, picking up shortly after our last episode. We are back clearing some more zombies. I have uh, taken a day to drop everything off from our last looting expedition. So that's all taken care of. It is uh, October 2nd, second day of a new month. And we're back in the same area that we left off. Uh, in the last episode, we're going to continue pushing up towards the next Spiffo location uh, and explore some more shops and uh, locations along the way. Now, uh, we need a smoke, so let's take care of that. It is raining. I harvested some tomatoes and potatoes. Uh, while I was back at base, I also remembered to set our... Uh, remaining bird traps. We had, I think, four remaining bird traps, so put some worms in there. Hopefully we'll have some birds by the time we get back. Add some more food to the freezer. Freezer's getting pretty full with uh, vegetables. We could definitely use, with some, uh, use some more protein. So until we get back out fishing again, uh, I'm hoping we get some big birds. But uh, this area, we've got some zombies that have moved back in, so we're going to clear them out. Our piano stool is just up the road. So we'll try and fight our way back to there. It took me most of the day to drop everything off, so it is evening already. Cut our way through here with our knife. Are we expecting... Is this a storm that we're expecting? Hold on. I'm gonna check our journal. Are we expecting another big storm? October 2nd. That kind of rings a bell now. search. Maybe another bar down there. Another bar there. The Mead Drink and Bloody Mary. Air cuts and more. Okay, let me take a quick look at our journal. Yeah, October 2nd, severe storm. Okay. So we'll have that to contend with today. I did see another hunting knife over here. I should probably grab that. Spin the car up. Oh, and before we forget, let's grab our garbage bag. We had left a couple episodes ago. Throw that in the trunk. Oh, there's the thunder. The storm is upon us. Nothing like being out on a loot run during a severe storm. Alright, let's just go right back up to our bench, which was... Where was it? Right up here. Oh yeah, because we had slept... I had spent the night over in uh, one of these places. So let's just clear this area. Get our axe back out. We're going to continue using the axe until we get to level 6. Or, um, was it level 6 or level 7 we wanted? I think it was level 6, yeah. And then we're going to switch out to long blood. And do some grinding with the crowbar. Short blunt will be the last weapon class for Delmer to become proficient at.
Definitely a lot more deadly with the axe though with that level six that we or level five that we got. Let's rest quickly here. Go. Just wanna make sure that this corridor is, you know, as safe as can be, because we're gonna be going up and down here pretty frequently over the next week, I would say. I want to be able to stop off and sleep in these apartments when need be. Oh, and now that we're in a new week, uh, today is Monday, as of the time of this recording. Quick update on the Spiffleman Live episode. That will be happening tomorrow. So we're going to have our chat integration day today on stream, our usual Monday chat integration. And then Tuesday, tomorrow Tuesday, we'll be uh, bringing Delmer over to the live stream. And we'll uh, attempt to start moving over the uh, TV studios, so we'll do some side missions with them. I'm going to have to grab some more food from these. Um, apartments as well. I did bring one stew with us. So we can have that now. We will have to forage and scrounge for food. Maybe not so much forage, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's grab that. Let me look at the map. We got through about half of those townhouses, and then we got the um, the individual homes here, which could be some good looting too. Let's bring this up a little bit. Let's dry off a bit. Did remember to bring our towel. Let that dry off. Let's park up here. Put our bench down. Let's just do a shout out. Still uh, collect the utensils, pens, pencils, that kind of thing. Once we have a good stash of that, then we'll uh, we're gonna switch over for a little bit to do uh, some shitty short blade work. Like that's what we'll call it. But I'm always gonna grab these uh, good hunting knives too. We can never have too many. Eight forty. We should start looking for somewhere to sleep for the night. Let's get nice and rested for one last, probably one last push for the evening. Let's we enjoy the atmosphere of. The severe storm. Got quite a few trees around that entrance. Be careful here. I'll just end up breaking that window.
Getting pretty dark, we might want to switch out to a hand axe. And our flashlight. Alright, let's fall back to the uh, townhouses over here. Finish up this side. Just about where we left off. A little bit further down. I'm gonna guess that's... These are the, probably the ones we left off on. Oh yeah, there's the party house. Uh, we did not go in there yet. Is this where we left off? Must be this one. Let's see if there's anything left in here. Um, another towel. Since it's so rainy, let's take another one. And you know what? Wouldn't hurt to have some paper, uh, toilet paper. Since we're getting to winter, and uh, in case we do catch a cold. Okay, I think we must have searched this one. This must have been where we slept last time. Let's move on down. There's a bit of food. I have a couple beer tonight. Actually, there's a few beer here. I do have a, a couple loot bags in the car. Or beta blockers. A spoon, there we go. I think that still counts as a short blade. I'm not actually sure, but I would think so. Ooh, cornflower. I think that's the first cornflower we've come across this series. Hmm, we'll take the meat patty. Since we will be making burgers, we will need meat patties. Complete bag, let's take that. It's a gun case, but it's empty. You know what? We should start picking up some uh, short blunt weapons too. Prepare for that final weapon class. It's still a long ways away. Quite a few months away. It'll take us a while to level up. Short blunt, or uh, long blunt. Well, we can start preparing. Hey, okay, that one's done. Move on down the line. Ooh, some Machiavelli quotes. Another CD for the collection. More lard, more beer. Another orange plate, excellent. Boolean Q, here we go. Some meals. Change out our battery. Sounds like that's in the unit next to us. Uh, Bartleby the Scri Scrivener audiobook by Herman Melville. A book on CD. Take that. School bag. We can pass on that one. Leave that. Just take the magazine and the ammo. Yeah, we're finding a lot of ammunition and magazines, which is great. These residential areas are 
usually a good gold mine for that stuff. Even on insanely rare loot. Is this the last one? Yes. It does sound like there's someone in here. Oh, Mother's Boy. <laughs> Not gonna do us much good, but that does give you some short blade experience. Or beyond. Let's still watch it though. This kitchen actually has, like, the bathroom tile on the wall. I find myself more... being more in tune with the, uh... design choices of some of these buildings now that we're making the map. Um, you know what? What the hell? Let's start to pick up that rifle ammo. What the hell? Paper. We'll take that. Short blunt. Okay, we are full. Good time to rest. And swap all this stuff out into our duffel bag we picked up. Let's put that down. all this stuff inside so we can just throw that in the car in the morning uh, we'll keep the chips out we'll keep the fruit cocktail out but all this stuff can go um, we will have a couple beer tonight we also drop off here lard Magazine, rotten meat. Collection of spoons. Oh, we want to keep one spoon on us, though. All right, cool. that secondary and the smoke now it might not be a good sleep with all the um, there's a little bit of knocking not a whole bunch but there's a little bit um, we're actually not even that tired uh, let's have our our beer It's gonna leave these bottles here. And help us get a little bit tired. Now, last time we had the drink and we uh, we got sleepy from it. We didn't actually sleep that long. Oh, so let's go ridiculously tired. Make sure we get a good rest. Just want to make sure we get up. You know, after the sun comes up. There we go. Eight o'clock. That works. Oh yes. Oh, and we got a visitor. I'm gonna mark off the rest of these units. Oh, so hold on. Let's take one more look at the man. So we seem to get to the uh, next intersection around the corner is Spiffos. We should be able to see it today. Got a bit more room in this bag. Continue looting with this. Take a look outside, looks like we're okay.
What else we got in here? Nothing. Oh, careful. Oh yeah, there's some more outside. Okay, let's go back out. Let's deal with these. I saw at least one more. Yeah. Let's see if anyone else comes out from that shout. I think the backyard is fenced off, yeah. Oh, we got um, a lot of nice big houses over there. Might be worth going back in there if only just to find more ammo. This house is pretty empty. Strike out on our first detached house. Mark that off. Let's go around the trees. Five houses to get through here. Ice pick. No, bourbon and wine. This bag's almost full. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez, there. That was a close one. Can't believe we didn't cook any bacon to level up our cooking skill before we maxed out cooking. All right, that is full. Well, let's go into the backpack. Check the backyard. We're good there. Rain has not let up. No thunder though. All right, let's take that. Fanny pack. Mmm, some more hair dye. Light brown hair dye. You know what? Let's dye our hair. We dyed our hair last, uh, I think at the end, was it during month two? So it's been a few months. It's almost been four months. Let's, uh, let's change things up up here. Um, first let's take off our helmet. I imagine it would be quite difficult to dye your hair with your helmet on. Time to say goodbye to the blue hair. Okay, let's, uh, put that down. Back to light brown. There we go. I think that was our natural hair color. If we find red hair dye, though, we are definitely dyeing our hair red. Okay, let's go drop this duffel bag off. Grab another loot bag. Checking out my car, officer. You trying to do a 
<laughs> you trying to pull me over? Check for license registration. Move up. Space Crew, Season Three, Episode One The Jansarian Smuggler. Never watched that one. So I'm leaving the uh, rotten fruit and vegetables. They have very, very low hunger values. Whereas the, the meat still has, you know, at least it's over one or two. Another rubber duck. Ooh, an M14. Yes, let's grab that. Another gun for the mall assault. Oh, look at this little gym. Little home gym. That's cool. Uh, another rifle here with a two times scope and a recoil pad. Some rope. Take those. Alright, let's remove the choke tube here. Remove the two times scope and the recoil pad. Take those attachments. Moving on. Let me check that. Okay. Another one down. Rain is now lighting, uh, lightening up a bit. Ooh, wrong weapon out here. Let's get that out. Maggots. Let's take those. Uh, saucepan with pasta rotten. We should be able to salvage that, right? We can cook that up, right? Or are those the ones that we can't salvage? Ah, I gotta take it back and take a look. I should make cooking notes. Oh, strawberry blonde hair. Uh, that is not red though, right? Is that red? The strawberry blonde be red? Ish? Or would be like more orange? Take your key. Start taking some first aid kits. We can we organize our stuff a bit better at home. 
Alright, let's mark these ones off. Two more. Probably be full after this next house. I see a hunting knife. Oh, pre owned cars. Yeah, it's not like we're desperate for cars right now. I uh, definitely have more zombies up there to worry about, though. Wait for them to bust out. We got a few in there. Let's actually drop this. Go to our big axe. Oh, was this thing almost broken? No. Something else. Next time we're back at base, we'll take a look and see how much, or how many pens, pencils, that kind of thing we have. Ooh, uh, you know what? Let's have half that cereal. Still at 79. Okay, that is full. Another hammer. Ooh, box of jars. Nice. That's our first box of jars, I believe. That many as we'll take. Yeah, we can do some jarring. We did find one thing of vinegar, right? Jar up some vegetables. Not sure how many uses we get from a, uh, a vinegar. Hopefully a few. That's so rare. I hope that gets tweaked in the next build. It's ever since they redid the uh, loot distribution um, a while back. It's been very hard to find vinegar. Okay, let's take this stuff. Um, that was a busted hammer. Let's take this stuff down to the car. One more house to do. Good loot run though, again. Even on insanely rare, lots of loot to be had in these homes. And that might be the end of the storm. So that really only lasted one day. That away. Oh, oh rain has picked up again. Okay, hiking bag, let's take that out. Uh, we're going to keep the cereal on us. Just tidy this up. Alright, that's dropped off. I think that's everything. Oh, jar lid. No, a couple more things. Um, should be most of it, though. Yeah, okay. So that is already pretty full right there. We could do that one last house. And our loot bags will be full. Actually works out pretty good. Then we should just push up um, and clear. 
That's got a uh, blind on it. That is locked. No windows on that side. Oof, so many houses in there. Okay, let's... Let's break down the door. Drop that, get this out. I don't trust that, um... Window shade in the bathroom. Oh yeah, we're gonna be full right away here. Alright, well there's that. Well, that's rotten cooked, so we can't use that one, right? Can we? I wonder if we can. Rotten soup. Another thing of rotten pasta. Spoon fork. Empty bowl. Another patty. Let's go upstairs. All right, let's check this bathroom quickly. All right, it was safe. Another double barrel shotgun. Hmm. Do we have a double barrel shotgun? Do we want one? I think, I think we like the JS2000. Our current level. I think I'm happy with that. Robinson Caruso. A classic. Last of these. Okay. Let's mark it. Mark it and move on. So yeah, we're gonna bypass these. We're just gonna go around the corner. Uh well clear out zombies along this road here. Towards the spiffos. Try and get eyes on that. 4 p.m. Drop this off in the car. Let me empty the rest off into the uh, garbage bag that we've got. This room is left in here. Not much. Yeah, let's take this. Just to empty out our backpack. That stuff that way. We should still be able to use that rotten cooked meat, I think, because you can still add that as an ingredient. I'm not sure about this pasta now. Second guessing myself on the pasta. Front seat. Have a smoke. Have a piano stool. Let's head up. Get our big axe out. Should still be in good shape.
All right, we're gonna clear this little area out. So let's put this down. do any shouting yet. There's quite a few around here. This guy wearing the Spiffo shirt. Take that. you come from? Must be an ambulance around here somewhere. Care of these ones? Jimmy's pre owned cars. Good old Jimmy. A true Kentucky hero. <laughs> pre owned vehicles. Oh, we got some bandits here, too. Alright, more backpacks. Jimmy's was taken over by bandits. Nightstick, hunting knife, I saw another gas mask. I already have one though. A lighter. Thought we were through with the storm, but it's picking up again. Ooh, look at that machete! I didn't even notice that. Nice. Thank you, Bandit. up these last four and then we'll rest. Oh, so oh, a quick, quick idea here. We have bandits. Wouldn't it be cool? If they added different... Uh, so we have bandits and we have survivors. Right? Survivors kind of have, you know, maybe some canned food or chips, maps on them, that kind of thing. Bandits have, like, the, the melee weapons, some guns sometimes, gas masks. Wouldn't it be cool if they also added something like a, like a wandering trader um, zombie? So it's like maybe a nomadic trader, survivor, like a variant of the survivor, I guess, who um, would have more like rarer items, like cooking-wise and and um, 
crafting wise like duct tape wood glue um, um, vinegar you know that kind of stuff that'd be an interesting variant that could help with some of the, the rarity of some of those particular items let's rest here that for a minute. Nothing on the trooper there. Ooh, but another hunting knife here. Ooh, careful. That was close. Pretty low there. Okay. This has been searched now too. Just green areas back there. Just like parks. Yes. Right, let's have the rest of this cereal we were holding. Oh, did we finish this? Bathroom. Bathroom. Right stick here. And some shells. Okay, 8.30. Upscale mobility. Oh, that's another... Yeah, another car dealership. I think we're going to be sleeping... Again, down here. Let's grab our bench. Now we are overweight. Let's throw some of this in the garbage bag. Great find, another machete though. For this next Spitfoes, we'll be fine just using, like, axe and spear, that kind of thing. I mentioned last time, we'll save the long blades 
and uh, our guns and stuff for the mall. And we're still over encumbered here. Uh, all right, let's put some of those in the backpack. <sighs> yeah, okay, we're good now. So, do we want to keep pushing up? Let's do one more. It's getting pretty dark, though. This is our corner. Pretty quiet. Oh, no, there we go. Oh yeah, never mind. Here they are. Yeah, never mind. Just took him a little while. All right, let's switch out to the knife. Here. I was deceptively calm there on the road. So our car drew a lot of tension. A whole lot of tension. Should be a little bit quieter around here after this. Okay. Now I did see a couple knives. Track those down. So the storm let up a little bit around, uh, or well, earlier today, when it is back almost full force. See if the thunder returns as well. He always seemed to want to uh, turn south when he's dismantling. It's a strange OCD habit Delmer has. There we go. 
there's one. are we here okay well maybe we should just sleep in uh, this house here that we cleared let's take refuge here for the night up okay skills sprinting very close level five what else is getting close here uh trapping hopefully we will get this leveled up once we go back and check the stick traps fishing will definitely get level two next time we go out uh, reloading, we could probably grind out level 4 uh, without too much uh, hassle, just by reloading unloading our M14 mag back home. Electrical getting close to 7. So we make a few more um, ham radios. It might crack us to 4,000. Repair the Jenny. Alright, let's just sleep here. We won't worry too much about what time we wake up. And we do wake up pretty early, so... A couple hours to go until dawn. Search the rest of these. Back to the car, and we're gonna see if we can't at least drive up to the Spiffes. Get an idea of what we need to uh, do for securing it. Let's go to the hand axe for this. Get around the corner here. Back to the car. Another hour to go till the sun comes up. Got plenty of batteries. Left the headlights on all night. Our car battery should be okay. And they're going up. Yeah, let's clear these. Yeah, 
that's a big group there. Let's put down our bench. Get fully rested here. Keep an eye out. Just around the corner, we'll be able to see it. Right? Yep. That's gone. I don't think we'll worry about fixing that. We got more back home. So let's start getting brighter here. Let's switch back out to the big axe. Clean up our six. Right, let's go to the uh, big axe. I think we're okay. Light level wise to see stuff now. Okay, good. Let's grab that. Oh, yeah, getting chilly. Let's turn on the heater here. And let's have some food. We'll have our bag of chips. Down to 78. Let's dry off as well. Okay. There's the ambulance. That's where that patient was from. Okay, should be right up here. There we go. Next spiffos. Oh, time to put down the bench. down now though right, let's do a quick rest all right so pretty standard uh, spiffo's restaurant here Obviously, we are exposed all around, no fences or anything. Uh, quite a few windows to barricade. I think we'll do the, the metal sheets. We have been collecting some of those. We could do a fence, though. We could do a log wall or a fence around. 
Now, whether or not we have a lot of trees around here that we can cut down, that's another question. We might not. Got some on the boulevard, but... Or the meridian. Another hand axe. That's good timing. Knife. I'm gonna get tired here pretty soon. It should it be overall though a pretty quick setup? This restaurant won't be nearly as long as the stadium. All right, let's grab that hand axe. We do need to go back and drop stuff off, though. Alright, there we go. Okay. Well, we need to come back with the Spiffo suit to actually do the, um, the entry into the, the restaurant. As is tradition. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Looking forward to it. But yeah, I think we're going to have to end this episode here, guys. We got eyes on another Spiffle location, though. Next franchise location acquired. Let me know those comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay tuned for a live episode of Spiffle Man and the Delmore Dell Adventures tomorrow. Starting around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we'll go for about six hours. So if you got any time during that window to come say hello, would love to chat with you guys. Uh, we will be here live on YouTube as well as over on Twitch. And then after uh, the live stream, uh, the VOD, of course, will be available. I'll also try and um, maybe do some highlight, a couple highlight videos of it. But uh, our main task uh, tomorrow, we'll just be doing some side quests. So we'll be back to the Spiffos for the next uh, regular um, YouTube episodic episode. But we'll be doing some side quests tomorrow, like uh, gathering the, starting to gather the uh, TV studios, bringing them over to uh, the headquarters. All right. Uh, big shout out to the uh, channel members. Thank you so much, guys, for your continued support. Uh, if you are new to the, uh, the channel, this series, and you would like to support uh, the channel in uh, some other way, uh, you can take a look at our memberships. Uh, we do have memberships now on the channel. Uh, it helps me uh, continue to do this stuff full time and uh, produce uh, more Zomboid content for you guys. So, um, Not obligated to, but if you would like to, it's always very much appreciated. Alright guys, until next time, I'll talk to you all later.